Bonjour ni hao! Welcome back to the Mean Boys channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today we're here with a Bibbidi unboxing! So this is our June Bibbidi unboxing. We're super excited. This is one of our favorite videos to film. And their wish list for June was fire. Yes, there was so much that we both put on our wish list. If this is your first Bibbidi unboxing video, welcome. If you don't know what Bibbidi is, it's a Disney subscription box where they cater to your preferences and they have wish lists that you can kind of choose items you want. And then you could also fill out a big long preference sheet where you could say what you like, what you don't like, if there's any special requests you want. They're very good at fulfilling that and looking at that. And Tim and I are brand reps for this company, so if you would like to try your first box, use mm -hmm. promo code GAMEBOYS to save 10% off your first box, as well as receive a sparkle pack for free. Yes, which is full of magnets and stickers. Yes, but this is our box, and as Tim said at the top of this video, we both love so much stuff on the wish list. Sometimes there are months that we like to be surprised and we don't know what's in here, and then other months we're like, yes, add this to our box, we want it. Yes, all. but it's still not guaranteed. Guaranteed if True. you say so like there's one option where you could guarantee an item but then everything else you kind of um, heart everybody just knows you like it so if that item is not available they will kind of read through your preferences and find something comparable here is the box up close the wonderful Bibbidi box in this gray with all of these wonderful icons it's always such cute art, the side, and I love like this square kind of like cake box shape because you could, you know, put a cake in it. <laughs> or a hat. Remember like hat boxes? Like when women would like go on trains with hat boxes? I like love, I should start using that as like luggage more as a hat box. And we love these boxes, we save them, and it's nice that they're glossy now because like it just feels better in your hands. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we are filming this towards the end of June, so we just want to say Happy Pride Month to anyone that celebrates and all of our allies and everybody. We just want to thank you for all the support. Um, we've been getting a bunch of messages just saying that people are so glad that we're able to represent a portion of this lovely community. Yeah. So let's get into this. All right. Do I go first? I don't remember. But, I don't know. oh, when you open the box, there is a packing slip, and we will save that into the end. That says what's in the box as well as the value. Yeah, so it does actually look like everything is in this box. So every month they do give a reusable bibbity bag that is iridescent. I saw an item through the... A ring light that was doing it that I'm gonna hand to you because I think that so close your eyes it feels like a Funko box and I think I know the one that I did you put this on the wish list is it Cruella Yes! Yay! And I'm going to tell you a story about this. So do you know that package that's been lost from Funko? Mm -hmm. That's stuck in Chicago? It's this. Oh. And I got it for you for your birthday. <laughs> so happy birthday! <laughs> that's funny. Because oh. around Tim's, Tim's birthday is in July, and so it's super exciting. But mm -hmm. there weren't that many new Funkos that have been released that we didn't already have yet that I wanted to get Tim for his birthday, and so I got him this one. So yay, oh. Bibbidi! That is the wonderful thing about Bibbidi. They do know you so well that they get you things. This was actually on the wish list, and I selected it. You, I didn't select it because I knew I just ordered it for you. I told you I was selecting it. I know, and I didn't know how to tell you not <laughs> to put it on there. But this is from the amazing new remix when... Remix from the new movie where she does that beautiful fire scene. Wow, 1039. Get it, Disney Pops. So, this is the back. Obviously, I want this other one too. So, oh my god, look how beautiful this is. I love her mask and that hair. The detail is just amazing. And oh, this dress. And she's clutching her like. Fake pearls? <laughs> ah! Oh my god, this gown though. Look at that beautiful back. 
What's funny is um, when I saw this, I thought it was going to be the same silhouette as this Katniss Everdeen one. That's what I thought she was not. <laughs> no. Oh, yay! But I love, love, love it. Yeah, this is the first Funko of a live action movie we've got and that we're collecting because we didn't want one of like the Maleficent ones looked kind of weird. Oh, I love it. And you can even see like the cool collar on the back that they added. And the mask is so cool. Oh, this is stunning. <laughs> I love that. How is she though? <laughs> Do I close my eyes? Yes. Oh, my. Uh. <laughs> I think, is this the wallet to go with a bag that we might have recently acquired? Maybe. Does it, hold on, I'm gonna, my eyes are so closed. <laughs> okay, it does not smell like strawberries. <laughs> I think only the bag does. <laughs> I was just like, that just smells like plastic! <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, and I love, ah! Oh, actually, I love this. Isn't that beautiful? I'm actually good. Can I use this in real life? Yeah. Okay. Just be careful, because it is that plush material, and I know, like, how you sweat. I do. That is true. Oh! <laughs> oh! And I love when they, like, yeah. That's more of a winter bag, though. It is. Because it's like, I don't know, it feels more... Like, it, it would keep you warm. It's like fall, <laughs> right? And I, but I do, if it's one thing I love about a lounge fly, it's when they're a full zipper lounge fly. Like, that's, that's how but I there's love not the coin ones. things you like. I know, but it's, there's not the coin one in the, um, alien one that you just got me, but I put the coins in the pocket so it still works. Well, here is our good old buddy Lotso, and you can kind of see, like, the 3D element, like his ears go forward. Cause he's a hugger, and then on the back is the lounge fly logo, and it kind of reminds me of like a Harry Potter like monster book. You know what I'm talking about? The one that used to eat. But the cutest and lounge fly killing it with their print is the Lotso strawberry print on the inside, cause this is the card portion where you can put your ID. And then on this side is more cards, and then obviously a spot to put more things with the print. But this will go perfect with our Lotso bag. <laughs> So cute. Oh, see, it said there's a uh, the tag says I'm scented. Oh yeah, it smells. How do you not smell it? No, smell the front. Oh, okay, <laughs> the smut the the the, <laughs> the front does smell and the back doesn't. So maybe when I like smelled it within the plastic, I was just smelling the plastic. <laughs> yeah, it's very. Yeah, the back doesn't, but like the bottom does, and then like. Yeah, it is mostly, I think they put it like towards his face. So it's like you're giving Lotso kisses when you want to smell him. And I guess that's why it's a fun, <laughs> I shouldn't use it in the summer because if I kept doing this during the summer, it would get really sweaty. <laughs> Very true. Oh, I do smell. It is like literally on his nose. <laughs> Oh, it's like you can do a little nuzzle nuzzle. Yeah. Yay! So yeah, obviously we're hit. we have the bag to go with it, so we didn't request that. But now you can having like a cute little look. both, it's going to be amazing. It's like a clutch. You can go like <laughs> wallet first. Right. How do you enter a room? Wallet first. Or purse first. Alright, so I saw an item, so I'm just going to pull it out. I did put this on the wish list too. <gasps> So these are the new Pride Ears, which I'm super excited about because these ones are from years ago and like it's the old design where the headband's a little tighter. Um, but this is perfect for Pride Month. We'll get to wear these in like a couple videos. But I mean, you could wear these year round. But these are so cute and this is specifically from the Disney parks. And that's why I wore these ears in the video because I had a feeling it might have been like pride centric because, you know, we're too... Oh, and it says love on the side. That's cute. <laughs> you know, as Tim cuts off the tag, I will say, tell a fun bibbity story. The very first pair of ears that we ever received were these pride ears from Bibbity 
two years ago in one of my boxes, and they actually cut off the bow <laughs> for me because I always said that like I didn't like the bows, and that's what truly helped him and I back from wearing ears until we realized that they were so easy to cut off. So it was all in part to the ear revolution was all in part to Bibbity and. Uh, Becky, Brenda, and Amanda. So thank you for our getting us hooked onto Disney ears and for continuing uh, to uh, support our ear love. Because actually, even the ones that I'm wearing are from Bibbidi too. <laughs> yeah, they totally are the ones that started us in this ear game. Yeah. I don't know how we did it before. Like it was so boring without. Them. Like, <laughs> but we, we looked so basic without them. Okay, I'm gonna do the switch. And then actually, yeah, it says love on the side. I don't know why when they first did these like they made the color like more muted yeah, and then they realized like, they the realized green's not really on there at all I think they just put the green on the bow I think and that's what we cut off yeah so I like these a lot better but I mean. but it's an interesting thing because those are also like the uh, ones that I say look like little uh, what are those things that they just made those little like they look like uncrustables. I call them the yeah, a little ears. bit. But these ones are like better than the um, those ones. So these ones are like they're cute. Like but they're super pitched. Yeah, it's kind of like a like a bow or a what are those like the the <laughs> uh, pot stickers that like that you just pinch them all the way around. Yeah, but I will say this one's probably a little bit better because it didn't come with a bow. So like they knew what they were doing. Maybe like oh, I don't know. true. All right, so it looks like we have one item left. Is it the other item that I put on the wish list? We, that we both put this on the wish list, and I'm sad there's only one <gasps> because we're gonna have to fight over this. Maybe if there's any left, I could ask for one to be in my birthday box, and I'll be I'll be kind and let you have this item. Close your eyes. I don't know what color it is. I guess that's. That's what. Okay. So this is what I think it is. It's a tumbler. And Tim and I love It's the White Wing Yank! They're both cute, but like I love, I want like I would have been happy with anything. That's my favorite one. I like this white one way better. And oh, they do the okay. See, I now that we are using these tumblers like every day, <laughs> I like have very specific feelings, but oh these are stunning. <laughs> So, beautiful custom girly girl tumbler, and they uh, do a partnership with Bibbidi. I've actually ordered my own uh, tumblers for, like, my own gifts to people, where I've sent my uh, art over, and they've made them into tumblers, and they make truly great gifts. But look at that lovely message of love and the rainbow, and it comes with one of these really great straws. And then, this is the lid, it comes off, and the one thing that I love about these, like, newer lids is that, uh, it, snap it, it snaps off much easier, but the back of the, uh, this like slidey portion actually has this like little pinch clip that makes this super easy to come off and clean because sometimes I notice when I wash these by hand uh, that like water gets under there and then I like really want to clean it out but I oh these are great mm -hmm. and they're perfect sizes you could show the one here this is girly girl too you got in a vividity and see look see love matching lot so oh I love this white with sparkles is legit Beautiful. But like you can see on the one that like I'm using, this is one of the older tops, and I, because Tim and I never use these for hot beverages with the slide, I just took off the top part just to make it easier to clean and to keep it so that the straw's always there. This is really cute, and I really like it with the orange. Mm-hmm. It pops. Yay! Look, we can make our hands match. Happy Pride! Love, love. And there is one more item. Wait, really? Yes. There is a Bing Bong sticker, and it is like, um, kind of like iridescent. Oh, like, and he's crying candy! Oh, this is going on my laptop. Ha! Bing Bong is totally like rainbow and beautiful, so this was totally a pride box. <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. Yay! So, there has been a lot of sad, sad moments in Pixar where like people are lost, or like, lose their lives, but I would still say Bing Bong is one of the saddest ones, and still, every time, it makes us both cry when we watch it. Like, right. ugly cry! Every time he's like, take rid of the moon for me, Joy, I'm just like cuddled up with a blanket, just sobbing. Yeah. 
Um, I, the one thing I loved about this box, and this is, I will say I love about Bibbidi, is the variation between quality at, over quantity sometimes, mm -hmm. and quantity over quality, yeah, is that, fun. you never know. This is super fun because, like, I loved this. So let's get into the packing slip. Our box was curated with love by Amanda. Thank so you, Amanda. Thank you for this awesome pride box. The BBB uh, Times Girly Girl Creations Custom Glitter 20 ounce tumbler, white with rainbow love, was valued or is valued at $45. The Disney Parks exclusive ear headband with rainbow pride, valued at $29.99. The Launchlight Disney Pixar Lotso Sherpa Zip Around Wallet is valued at $40. The Funko Pop Disney Cruella. Reveal vinyl figure is valued at $11, and the three inch custom Disney Pixar holographic decal inside out bing bong is valued at $3.50, bringing the total value of our ultimate magic box to $129.49. Which is awesome, because this box was $119. Yes, and we will leave a link to Bibbidi and all of their different products below. The boxes come in a variety of sizes and price points to meet your needs. Yes, and you'll have to let us know what your favorite item from the box was. I'm going to say, even though I'm not going to keep this for myself, this is my favorite. Oh my god, it's beautiful. We do share our tumblers, though. I don't like it, though, because, like, on certain days, like, you want one and then I want the same one and I don't want to have, like, you know. Oh, true. So, like, yeah, I'm going to have to request my own for next month. And I'm going to say my favorite wa item is the Lotso wallet because this now completes the Loungefly <laughs> Uh, duo that we have going on with Lotso. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, Bibbidi, for an awesome June box. Um, be sure to check them out. We'll leave everything down below. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of our future Bibbidi unboxings and much, much more. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye! Bye.